Hi, today we will walk through this lightning component which embeds a Visual Force page to show Google Map um, due to Locker service, which will be mandatory soon. We cannot use Google Maps directly in Locker in Lightning components because uh, Google Map adds um, dynamic script tags which are not allowed in the uh, for security reasons due to Locker in Lightning components. So. A good way to add Google Map is through Visual Force pages, and you can use window.post message to send messages back and forth from Lightning components to Visual Force and back uh, to interact between those two pages and make it look like that Windows ma Google Map is part of your um, component. So to begin with, we have this Visual Force page for Google Map that includes Google Map. It's it's very simple page um, and uh, it's kept for that just for demo purposes, but you can customize this as much as you want. To begin with, we have uh, this Lex origin that's important. Uh, we will be getting it as a parameter to the VF page so that we can make it dynamic. This will be sent from Lightning Components when this page is requested. This is required to send a post message to the parent window. And remember again that Visual Force will be an iframe in Lightning Components, so we can send message to parent with post message to that origin and message can be anything. And uh, on Visual Force page, we can also add an event listener on a message. Uh, it could be uh, anything. In this case, it's message. And then we can receive the data. And based on the data, we can do different things. For example, in this case, we're saying process the Google Map if the event.data.load Google Map that we just arbitrarily defined it is not is, uh, set, then use Google Map. And in the Google Map, we are writing a dynamic script tag. And the reason for that is we want to load Google Map on demand when Lightning Component loads. So uh, once this script tag is added, Google Map will be uh, loaded and it will do a callback to this init map function that we defined below. And that's the event listener that we add when the page loads. So iframe will be loaded in the beginning, just not the Google Map until Lightning Components tell uh, Visual Force that it is okay to go, go ahead and load the Google Map. Uh, once there, we can, uh, we can look at the um, init map function init map we can we have an add marker function which take which adds google map uh, mark uh, marker on google map based on a position uh, and this is a function because we want to add multiple markers so uh, on line 65 we have uh, google maps where we define a google map and we have a uh, div tag with id of map that we define at the beginning here that's where we will load our map and we say that we want to load the map options. Uh, remember, this data is sent from um, Lightning component. So even dot date, it's equals to even dot data. So we get the map options from Lightning component. Um, Google map requires that we set a center. So we also send the center option, which could be anything. Um, but it's a, la a longitude and latitude that we need to send to set the center map. And then we have, we go through map data, which is uh, an array. So we can have multiple markers. So we get the la latitude and longitude from these and define a latitude and longitude. And then we add a marker for those. And then we also send a marker text that will appear when you click on the marker. Um, when the page finishes, before it finishes, we again automatically uh, dynamically get the Visual Force host and then we send it to Lightning Components and it can be used if needed. Um, but of course, uh, this will only work if we have the um, if we have the Lex origin and like we talked about, it will be sent from the Lightning Components. So before we go ahead, let's take a quick look on um, how this map, so now we saw how Google Map is being generated. So let's take a quick look. This is how the Google Map will look like. We will show markers based on the accounts. So on clicking, we can see the account name, um, which uh, that marker is, and uh, this can be dynamically changed, or you can have it anything. This marker can be HTML. You can change it to whatever you want, uh, but we have kept it simple for this um, demo. 
Um, now let's head over to our component. Uh, we have a uh, attribute that needs a VF host because we, like I said, using post message, you have to tell it what host to send it to. Some map options, um, by default, it'll zoom to four and then which center to choose, it'll accept this format. Um, and then the map data, which will be an array in this format. And uh, load map, um, in this case, we also have other comp other attributes uh, that we can use as needed. Uh, and we have the iframe, which loads that uh, Visual Force page that we defined, and we send it this LC host. This LC host is um, uh, is controlled in controller, is, is defined in controller when the controller runs. So let's take a quick look at controller. And this function has, uh, this controller has two init function, which is uh, executed when um, component is uh, loaded. So when component is loaded, we set the uh, lo location uh, um, lightning component location host to window.location.hostname. So this will be uh, based on this, it'll be this part of it. And then we also add a event listener to message again in our lightning component. So we did the same in Visual Force and we're doing the same in lightning component. And when Visual Force sends message, we can process it. So in this place, we expect Visual Force to say Visual Force at center states of loaded. So at this point, when we uh, when Visual Force sends this message, we know that Visual Force page has finished loading. This is required because without it, we have no way to know in our component when iframe has finished loading so we only want to send data when it has finished loading set all the event handlers and everything so now that we know it has loaded we can call this helper function to send generate and send the message and it simply generates a JSON string with low uh, message of saying yes load the Google map the, here's the data here are the options which are passed to this component so we don't do much we just convert it to a JSON string and we send it to Visual Force page that is all. Now, where is that data coming from? That data is coming from this demo app that we built. So uh, when this demo app loads, we run an on init handler. And in the on init handler, we are making a call to uh, Apex method, which uh, calls a get accounts function. Let's take a quick look at that function. It simply returns a list of accounts with billing latitude and billing longitude where these are not null. Um, and uh, we get that list of all the accounts and then we simply generate these uh, JSON um, options that we plan to send to our lighting components. The map option center will, I just picked up, picked the first account billing latitude to longitude, but you can have multiple ways to set this uh, based on however you want. And then we push data to this array for all of the accounts that have, in this case, we have four markers. And then we simply set those attributes in the uh, demo app. And then we call that whether when there is more than one account, just simply to know that we don't want to include this component. If we don't have any accounts, then you can do error handling saying there were no accounts or anything else you want to. Um, and then now that we know there are accounts, we can simply we can safely load this map and then we send the map options center and map data to it. And then that in turn will include that visual force page as iframe and load the map. And that is pretty much it. So we have a compo we have a Google map that is loaded here. And to take a quick look, we have this component. This doesn't show up on map because it doesn't have a longitude and latitude because it's not proper. So let's move it here. And when we do the proper uh, postal code, and now if we save it, the billing longitude and latitude will be calculated. We should see more than four markers here when I refresh the page. So it's going back to the server, picking up a list. So now we have five markers and we just said the united uh, oil ones if i click here that's burlington textiles ah there you go that's united oil and gas corporation that we just edited as simple as that uh, please uh, feel free to leave a comment on uh, on the blog and or in the uh, youtube video and uh, let us know um, if you think uh, there should there can be more use cases or if you think of any other things that we can talk about Let's have a discussion. Thank you very much. Bye.